it's got the 10 inch on proportionately it looks like a good size there a bit triggered i put the bar on upside down <laughs> with the saw straight away the power to weight ratio is insane you can barely feel like you've got anything on your harness you can lift up fully extend your arms and you could go all day cutting with a saw and you wouldn't even get fatigued today I'm just removing some low dead stubs on these pine trees and it's a perfect application for this saw you won't want to do it all with your hand saw you also wouldn't want to be lugging around a big top handle price wise I got this all included bar and chain for £470. I went for the quarter inch uh, bar and chain version. I see a lot of people running the panther bars on them, panther bar and chain. I will be looking into that, especially because this chainsaw doesn't come with dogs as standard. So I will be looking to purchase some dog teeth as well as the panther bar and chain, probably the 12 inch version. So for reliability, this is obviously day one, but it performed great today. I ran a whole tank through it just to warm it up and get everything ready and then from then refueled, choked to get it going and from then on it was just one pull and it was going, one pull and it was going every single time and it was perfect. Sometimes I left it ticking over on my belt and it did tick a little high but because of the nature of the saw it's not, it's not auto-tuned, you can adjust the tuning so I think that's something you have to dial in once you get it new. You can make loads of modifications on this saw. That potentially could affect the reliability if you don't know what you're doing. That may be something that I play around with. But even straight out of the factory, it's a phenomenal saw and I couldn't recommend it enough. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to get more content like this.